Bugles is coming out with a churro flavor, Starbucks and Keurig is introducing pumpkin spice latte flavors in store, and if you like French Bulldogs, don't worry, there's a French Bulldog Cafe opening soon. Bugle has released a churro flavor. Listen up, you guys, because your favorite finger food, literally, and fave dessert are teaming up for the ultimate snack mashup. Bugle has made a churro flavor, and we're here for it. Yes, please. For those of you who don't know, bugles are the salty, crunchy snack that you can put on your fingers like witch nails or little hats before you eat them. And churros are a delicious fried dough pastry dusted with cinnamon and sugar. Basically, these new churro bugles are the salty, cinnamon, and spice combo we never knew we needed. And they're just as much fun to eat now as when we were kids. Let's reminisce because Bugle has had so many tasty flavors over the last 50 years. Aside from the original Bugle flavor, the most popular Bugle flavor has to be nacho cheese. Oh yes please. At old dirty PZ wrote on Instagram, quote, swear by him, hashtag nacho cheese bugles, hashtag godly, hashtag snacks. They said godly and we don't disagree. And that was just the nacho cheese flavor. They also make classics like salt and vinegar, sour cream and onion, and ranch. And much like other chip brands, Bugle has made some uh, weird flavors too. For example, ketchup flavor bugles are a thing. They also made a coriander flavored chip, which I had to Google what coriander even is, and it's basically cilantro, so they made cilantro bugle. I cannot stand the taste of cilantro. Oh, you're one of those? It tastes like soap. Mmm, I'm a big fan, so I could eat it like lettuce. You want some coriander bugles? Yeah. And they made shrimp bugles, and I just don't know how I feel about that, even though I love shrimp. Me neither. At least they also have dessert options. Okay. Besides the new churro flavor, Bugle also makes sweet and salty caramel and salty chocolate peanut butter. While talking about the salty chocolate peanut butter Bugle, Sarah wrote on Instagram, quote, breakfast of champions. Hey, dessert, breakfast, tomato, tomato, I guess. We've just got to try the new churro flavor to see how it holds up against these other flavors. Well, we've got to hurry because the new churro bugles are available at 7-Eleven, but only for a limited amount of time. So I guess we got to make sure to try them before they're gone. I want to try them. I used to have these when I was little, and I would pretend I had little claws. Like, I'm going to get you, my pretty. Who didn't pretend they were a witch with bugles? That's what, that's what they're made for, I, I know, think. honestly. But then it was always disappointing when you got a bag, and mm -hmm. they didn't fit your fingers. Yeah, some people have and they those, were closed. those fingers that are too big. But sometimes the bugles, the bugles are too, they're nope. too small. Nope. It's your fingers. I'm just kidding. Sometimes the bugles fingers are, too small. are just massive. <laughs> and the massive fingers and the bugles won't fit on there. I can't pretend I'm a witch. Discrimination against fat and skinny fingers. I, I guess so. I think my fingers are always like a little too skinny. Really? Yeah. No, I think they're, they're a good size. And they'll uh, probably fit these new churro right. bugles. So I need to get the churro bugles like right now. Uh-huh. I gotta try them. Because limited time only. All these things are limited time. I know. I'm it's like, how much time? A week? Starbucks releases pumpkin spice lattes in stores. If you love pumpkin spice lattes and cannot wait for Starbucks to bring the popular item back to their menu, we have some incredible news. Starbucks is teaming up with Keurig to bring you a PSL that you can drink while at home. For those who don't know, a pumpkin spice latte is made using espresso and steamed milk, or non-dairy beverage, with real pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. It's topped with whipped cream and pumpkin pie spices. PSLs are essentially fall in a cup, so it's great that Starbucks and Keurig are teaming up so that we don't have to wait until fall for this to happen. Thank you. The two companies are releasing two different types of pumpkin spice K-cup pod. The first being Starbucks pumpkin spice flavored ground coffee, which comes in packs with 10 K-pods and contains hints of cinnamon, nutmeg, and of course, pumpkin. The other flavor is Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, which comes in packs with six K-pods and includes sweetened dairy packets so you can recreate your fave latte. Okay, let's be real, not everybody has a Keurig, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't get to enjoy the PSL flavor too. Starbucks pumpkin spice flavored ground coffee is coming to you in bag form too. Make an entire pot and drink it all day if you want to. That's the beauty of buying it from the store. Um, they also have pumpkin spice cookie straws, Ooh. which are toasted white chocolatey rolled wafer cookies with pumpkin spices and perfect for any way that you happen to be drinking that PSL flavor. I want a pumpkin spice cookie straw. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Because pumpkin spice, I mean, you get your latte, that's fine, but you can also drink it out of a pumpkin spice straw, and it's available in the cold section. <gasps> yeah, there'll be cold singles available, pre-mixed, ready to drink, so all you have to do is grab and go. Or if you feel like you may need to grab a few and go, why not just grab the larger multi-serving bottle <gasps> and keep your refrigerator at home stocked throughout the season? Oh my God. 
Starbucks is celebrating their 15 year anniversary of pumpkin spice lattes, but yes. honestly, we feel like we're the lucky ones now mm -hmm. that Starbucks is releasing the PSL flavors in grocery stores. Awesome. They also even started a secret society for people who love fall called Leaf Rakers Society, which Gotta is a private <laughs> Facebook group for people who just love fall that much. Uh, we're sure that some of the discussion in this secret fall loving group will be all of the cool new recipes people are going to come up with with all of these PSL flavors everywhere. I know. Now you can just like make your own at home. Amazing. I'm going to just mix flavors probably. Just in the park? Well, you can have it at home. You can have it in the park. You can have it at work. I guess it is grab and go. You can grab and go to the park. <laughs> grab a few and go to the park. Grab it can be fall park. year round now. Amazing. A French bulldog cafe is opening and we cannot take the cuteness. If you love dogs, specifically French bulldogs, you are in for a real treat. Pug Cafe is having their first official Frenchie Cafe. I'm so excited. For those of you who don't remember, Pug Cafe is an organization that put together a one day pop up cafe for pugs, and there were so many cute pugs in bow ties hanging out together, it was adorable. Well, now their first ever Frenchie Cafe will allow French Bulldogs or French mixes, their owners, and anyone who doesn't own one but just really loves Frenchies to get together, pose for the paparazzi, and eat delicious foods. Yup, there will be a menu just for the pups, which will include freshly baked pup cakes, dog nuts, potty rings, paw bones, and more all thanks to Rudy's The Doggy Bakery Kitchen. Oh my god, that's amazing. And that's not all. Each Frenchie attending will get a doggy bag of popcorn and a free puppuccino from the bar. But Miriam. This potty, <laughs> that sounds like potty, but party isn't just for the dogs, it's for humans too. That's right, they're gonna be offering lots of food for humans as well, like coffee cakes and coffee and small bites, so you can feel fancy next to your French pup. <laughs> the Frenchie Cafe will be a one day pop-up event happening on September 9th, so mark your calendars, in London at the Happenstance Bar. This is gonna be a super popular event, so be sure to reserve your tickets ahead of time. Booking opens on Saturday, August 18th, when two email addresses will be released. For more info, you can always check out pugcafe.com. By the way, we apologize for our constant play on words today on such popular words. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, think about it. It's food for humans. You get to spend time with French bulldogs, which are like the cutest little the cutest. dogs. They're like, they look like they this. Look you can see why it sells out so quickly. I mean, obviously, and if you can't, like, you know, casually book a flight to London, mm -mm. don't worry because there are dog cafes, actually just like animal cafes all over the world. That's right. Tokyo, Japan has a hairy hedgehog cafe where visitors can pose and play with hedgehogs. And Tokyo has a Miss Bunny Cafe where you can play with little bunnies. Oh my God, Tokyo always has the best. Actually, South Korea has a, get this, sheep cafe where guests can sit down for drinks and waffles while petting a sheep. A combo I never knew I needed. I think I have to move to South Korea now. I think you do too. And in America, we've got Meow Parlor in New York, Purrington's Cat Lounge in Portland, and Kitty Cafe in San Francisco. But if dogs are really your thing, then visit the Dog Cafe in Los Angeles. This cafe isn't just about playing with dogs, it's also about getting dogs adopted. And the Dog Cafe is part animal shelter, which allows visitors to help socialize rescue dogs and get them ready for adoption, while humans fall in love with the dogs and, you know, end up adopting them. So whether you have a pet or you're someone like me and you're not responsible enough for one, these locations are for you so that you can cuddle and spoon with a dog that isn't yours. But now I want to kick it over to you guys. Will you be buying the Churro Bugles? Will you be getting your PSL from the store early this year? What do you think about the Frenchie Cafe in London? Let us know in the comments below. And when you're done with that, click right over here to check out these fried pickle chips. As always, we're your hosts, Emil Ennis Jr. Ava Gordy. Zoe Lillian. Renee Ariel. And Miriam Issa. And we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.